In Ezekiel chapter 28, you have this unusual prophecy that God commands Ezekiel to give to the prince of Tyre, this Phoenician city. And it's, it's dealing with uh, where this prince has kind of elevated himself. Listen to these verses. The word of the Lord came to me again saying, that's Ezekiel, son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord, because your heart is lifted up, you say I'm a God, I sit in the seat of gods, in the midst of the seas, You're, you are a man and not a God. Though you set your heart as the heart of a God, behold, you, are you wiser than Daniel, it says? There's no secret hidden from you. With your wisdom, your understanding, you've gained riches for yourself, gather gold, silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom and trade, you have increased your riches and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Now God says, you think everything's about you, that you've gained all this on your own wisdom, your own streak, and you've even placed yourself as a God to people. And this is what the Lord says, because you've set your heart as the heart of a God, therefore I will bring strangers against you, the most terrible of nations. They'll draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. God's gonna deal with this Prince of Tyre who thinks he's gotten to the place now where he thinks he's, well, he thinks he's God, that the world revolves around him that he has all wisdom and all understanding. And God says, it's time to take you down. It's time to reveal who you really are, to let you see for yourself that you're not a God. So the prince is not a God. And in fact, I think one of the greatest passages of scripture was a question one time, a, a lawyer or a, uh, a Pharisee asked Jesus, you know, what are the, what are the most important commandments uh, uh, in the Bible or in the scripture or towards the Lord? And Jesus responded like this. He said, you shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. Well, the Prince of Tyre was far from that, but that's really the epitome of sin, to, to, to not love God and then also to not love your neighbor. Those two are connected to almost all sins. And this prince, he had reached the pinnacle of that. Not only had he turned his heart against any God and made himself a God, he certainly was taking advantage of all the peoples that he could and elevating himself over and over and over again. And I would say one final message, one final proverb, be careful when you think you stand, lest you fall. And the Prince of Tyre, well, he's getting ready to take a great fall because he's made himself out in his own mind, in his own heart, to be his own God.